Good evening, everybody. So this is a really weird time for me to be going live, but I am so excited to share with you this card. Um, it was actually part of a advertisement um, by Sarah Douglas, who is the CEO of Stamping Up. And when I saw the layout, it was like, well, that is just too cute. And I had a Halloween swap to do um, that I host every month. And this month we had 13 swappers and it's like, this is going to be the perfect card for the swap. So look at this cute, cute box. This is the Paper Pumpkin, um, the Spooky Treat, September 2022. Unfortunately, you can no longer subscribe to this. That um, subscription period is over. But the Ho 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 subscription is open now. And I will put a link. Um, well, there is a link on Facebook, but I'll put another link um, when I upload to YouTube. So Ho 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 is next month's October 2022 Paper Pumpkin. And is what they're telling us is that the um, the November kit is going to coordinate with this kit. So for the holidays, honest, nothing says I love you more than a handmade card or a gift tag or both. And it sounds like we could have both with these coordinating sets. So subscribe today. I'd love to have you um, part of my pumpkin patch. And for tonight's alternative card that uses this adorable stamp set. I'm going to just put it on a piece of white paper here. So we have a trick or treat. We have enjoy this spooky treat, the ghosts, the bats, the cobweb, the spider, the stars, and happy Halloween. All right. So the only stamp for this card that I am not using is this one right here. How cool is that, right? And my inspiration for my card comes from the colors on this beautiful box. So let's get started. Is what I have is, I have enough stuff here to make two cards. So I have two pieces of Orchid Oasis that it's just one full sheet that's cut down the middle at four and a quarter. So they're four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. So I'm just gonna fold and score. You guys, I have a new puppy. <laughs> I'm sure you know because I've been posting pictures like a fiend, but you know, can you ever have too many cute puppy pictures? I don't know. I don't think so. So then the other thing I have are two pieces of, um, well I thought I had two pieces. Oh, I do. I used it for the stamp set. I have two pieces of basic white that's cut four by five and a quarter and that's going to be the inserts for our card. I have a half a sheet of basic white so five and a half by eight and a half and I am going to stamp on this and then I have a couple scrap pieces um, basic black and basic white. I'm going to bring in my my mini and I'm going to be using the um, layering circle dies and is what I want is I want to cut one the scalloped circle I'm going to cut with basic black and the round just the smooth edged circle I'm going to cut with basic white okay I'm going to push them up close to the edge because I like I said I haven't I'm stamping enough stuff to make two cards so, we'll need to do two passes here to get our, our circles, but here's our scallop, and here's our straight edge, and let's do that one more time. I just want to do a scallop and a straight edge. All right, whoops, 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 we'll run it through. How many do I have on? Oh, I got a couple. I was wondering because it's most people's dinner time, but we're doing a little bit later dinner tonight and we're really just having, because it's pepperoni pizza day, 
we are going to have pizza tonight. So that's always quick and easy, and I love pizza. All right, so there's our two circles that we want to use. And now let's just bring in a, let's see, where did I put that? I don't know where I put it, but I'll just grab a different one here. I just need a scrap piece and I'm going to lay this on here. And the color palette that I've chosen is the Memento Black Tuxedo, Tuxedo Black Ink. Sorry, put that in reverse. And I'm going to, I mounted the little bats. There's a trio of bats. So that's ready. I've got the Orchid Oasis. And remember my color palette was, um, I was inspired by the box. So I'm gonna use the Orchid Oasis for the ghost. I'm gonna use Mint Macaron for my cobweb, spider web cobweb. I'm gonna use Smoky Slate for my spider. And I'm gonna use Mango Melody for the stars. Okay, and then the sentiment I'm gonna use is trick or treat, so I'm just gonna set that up here for right now. All right, so is what we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp our own background paper, and I want you to really watch and see how quickly this goes. So I'm gonna go one, and I'm just gonna alternate these on this paper. So I know I look kind of clumsy rotating this, but I don't want them all going the same direction. So I'm just kind of going along here. Some of them are all the way on the paper and some of them are off the paper. So I'm going to leave it just like that, okay? Now, being I have this inked up, I'm going to bring in the inserts for our card. And I'm gonna stamp one here and another one here. Okay, set those aside. All right, next I wanna take our Mango Melody with the stars and I'm just going to stamp these randomly in and around my ghost. And I hope this shows up on camera as cute as it is in person. And the thing I'm most excited about with this is that I love, I love treat giving at Halloween and I love the colors. I love this time of year. And I felt like this year I couldn't find a stamp set that even said Happy Halloween in the catalog. And while we have some really cute paper in that Celebrate Everything, I didn't feel like there were like Halloween specific papers. And I'm telling you, stay tuned here because this turns out so stinking cute. All right, now I'm going to take my trio of bats with the Memento Black, and I'm going to add those in. Just like that. And again, just, just random. Doesn't, you know, doesn't matter. And I guess um, is what I do is I just kind of look and see it's like where do I have kind of some open areas that look like they could use a little more color okay 
I'm good with that for right now. So that's our bats. All right, now I'm gonna take my mint macaron with our spider web, and I'm just going to add those in in some of our um, more open areas, okay? Looks like I'm doing pretty good filling in filling in spaces. I'm gonna put one over here. And maybe one more yeah, right here. Okay, so you get the idea, right? And you see how it's coming together? Isn't it cute? All right, I can see I've got people out there, but I don't know who's out there. So I would appreciate if you would please comment and share my video. That helps grow my viewership and it also helps get my name out there for new customers and viewers. Hi, Anita, welcome. All right, so going to close this up for now and I'm going to bring in my spider and I'm using the smoky slate okay so I'm just going to in my open spaces Anita welcome you're I think you're a first timer or I have not seen your name on my channel before so Welcome. I'm glad you're here. All right. So what are you thinking so far? All right. I think that looks like we've got it pretty well covered. All right. So then is what I want to do before I put all of my inks away is I have the Happy Halloween mounted on, what is this, a G block. And so I'm gonna bring my inserts back in. I'm gonna open up my memento. And I just am gonna ink this up really good and I wanna go right across my little ghost there. All right, so there's that. And then, Let's bring in our circles that we die cut and using the trick or treat with the orchid oasis, I want to just ink this up really good. We're going to stamp our circles. This trick or treat is adorable. So there's our circles. All right. All right. Now we have to bring in our trimmer. And then, my friends, we will be very, very close to done. I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer. And I want this to be eight inches long. So that means I'm gonna just cut off a half inch. And I want it to be five and a quarter wide. Okay, so there's that. And now I'm gonna cut this at four. Remember I cut it at eight? So it's all I'm doing is just cutting it in half so that I have two pieces to add to my cards. All right, so now I'm going to have to bring in I'm going to bring in my Big Shot and I'm going to put my stamped designer series paper on and I want the circle here. I believe this is the one I used. Yes. 
So is what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my layering circle right here so it just goes off the edge of the page a little bit and I'm going to run it through. Whoops, sorry. Had some stamping blocks in the way. Okay. So there's one. And let's do this. And you guys, this card, like I said, was shown by Sarah Douglas, who is the CEO for Stampin' Up! And I don't remember what... I think she used the Celebrate Everything paper and did just kind of an assortment. But I really thought that this would make a super cute card with the stamp set from Paper Pumpkin this month. And guess what? I think it did, and I can't wait to see what you think. All right, I'm going to add some stamp and seal to the top of my insert, and I'm just going to. What did I get on there? Shoot. Okay, I'm going to wait to put this. Oh, I see. I have ink on my fingers, which isn't good. But you know what? Oh, and I got it on this one too. Shoot. Well, you know what this means. There's two sides to paper, right? Oh, and I got it there. All right. Let's just start again here. And you see, this is how real life stamping goes. You don't always get the perfect images or whatever's the first time around, right? But look how quick and easy that was to stamp. So is all I'm going to do is just bring in my Orchid Oasis one more time. And I'm gonna grab my little ghost. And now I'm gonna be really careful so that I don't get more black ink on me. So, memento. And my happy Halloween. There we go. All right. Let's try all of this again. Thank you for staying with me. All right. So there's our stamp and seal. We're going to put that right on the inside of our card. And you guys have probably seen me do this before, but I never, well, I shouldn't say never, but very, very often I just leave the, it loose on the bottom because why? You know what I mean? It, it saves your adhesive and it makes your card really kind of fancy. All right, so there's that. Then we're going to take our piece here and our multi-purpose liquid glue. And I'm just going to add some glue, making sure I get some close to the tips on that edge where the circle was. I'm gonna lay it down just like that. I'm going to add some adhesive to my circle and put that on the scalloped black. Let's grab our dimensionals and I'm going to put like a triangle, three of them, on the circle. And I'm going to center this right in the middle of that. Okay? So, cute, right? I love this card. I just love how simple it is, but yet just, I don't know, it just makes me happy when I look at it. So now I want my take your pick tool. And these are the stars that come in this month's kit. And you guys, seriously, I had enough to do I don't even know. Look at I still have stars left and this is card number probably 15. So, and then, you know, we had 
stamped that half sheet of basic white so that gave us enough for two cards. So I'm just going to finish putting this one together. Lay that on. And honest, I would have never thought to use Orchid Oasis for a Halloween card. But I think this is super... Hey, Kathy, hi! Yeah, isn't this a fun, a fun, fun card? I know. And I loved stamping my own background. All right, so we're going to put our trio of dimensionals. So if you guys aren't Paper Pumpkin subscribers, you really do want to subscribe. These kits have just like improved drastically and I love the little stamp sets that come in them. So let me grab some more of my stars and like I said these were just extras that were in the kit so why not use them right? And could this alternative card be any cuter than it is? So there's our there's our Halloween card and bam just like that. So you know the rule here at Create with Brenda we do not like naked envelopes at all. None. Zero. Zip. So is what I did is I took the, um, you could do it with any of them, but I'm going to do the mint macaron again with our cobweb. I'm going to add one just to the flap of each of my envelopes. And then I can bring back in the smoky slate with my spider. Oh, Beth, you are going to love it it love it all right so here's our little spider for the flap of our envelopes and if you participated in my swap I'm sorry this is a little bit of a spoiler because this is what this is what you're gonna get for this month's swap but I love it and like I said inspired by the colors on the box for this month's paper pumpkin and um, the card layout itself um, was a video that Sarah Douglas the CEO at Stampin Up shared so there you have it you guys two really quick cards stamping my own background and I think they're adorable and I hope you do too so until next time, bye for now. If you want to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, I would love to have you in my pumpkin patch. You can go to createwithbrenda.com and subscribe, or there is a link um, on the introduction to tonight's live. All right, you guys, have a great night. See you soon.